lashed out at Myanmar's junta after Myanmar's ambassador Chao Zhuo Min was locked out of the country's embassy in London in an extraordinary diplomatic coup by a young or military-linked figure. Due to his announcement in March, the ambassador has been recalled by the Myanmar military regime. Since then, he stopped following instructions from Myanmar Foreign Ministry. And he has been meeting with many diplomatic counterparts and Myanmar community to discuss the current situation in Myanmar, hoping to find a peaceful solution. Due to his stand, the Myanmar embassy in London has been seen by the military attache yesterday evening. The, the ambassador has been locked out since then. There was a coup in Myanmar in February, now in a similar situation in central London. According to the sequence of events narrated by the ousted envoy Chitpin, his defense attaché had taken over the mission in a kind of coup. He claimed that Chitpin's team is threatening the embassy staff with severe punishment if they do not continue to work for the military junta. The ambassador said that he stayed outside the building all night. He added when he left the embassy during the day, colleagues and officials linked to the military stormed the premises and kept him from re-entering. The development comes after the Myanmar military junta recalled the ambassador last month. This was after he issued a statement urging the military to release ousted civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi and President Win Myint. The protesters gathered outside the Myanmar embassy in London after the ambassador got barred from entering the building. The Metropolitan Police has claimed that they were aware of a protest outside the building in the Mayfair neighborhood and that public order officers were in attendance. According to sources, the Myanmar authorities had given official notice of Chao Zhuo Min's termination as ambassador and in line with diplomatic policy, the government had no choice but to accept it. Myanmar's military spokesman Chao Min Tun has confirmed that the country's foreign affairs ministry had been in touch with their UK counterparts in London over the incident. The British Foreign Minister Dominic Raab has tweeted in support for the ambassador and continued to call it for an end to the coup and appalling violence. For more details, let's quickly go across to our London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark, who's joining us live with more details. Mandy, thank you for joining our newscast. Now, what's your understanding of the current situation in London? And would you expand on the sequence of events from March when the ambassador was summoned by the junta until now? Uh, it's so hard that um, the ambassador uh, called on them to release Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, who is an opposition leader, of course, uh, and she was arrested. Uh, she's currently now facing charges that will possibly see her 14 years in prison if that tri trial goes ahead and she's found guilty. Uh, he had called her to be released and he said the charges uh, were, weren't accurate, weren't, weren't representative of what she had done. Now, he describes it as a middle ground, but of course, then they summoned him to return back to Myanmar and uh, they took him from his post. Uh, he refused to go back to Myanmar and he in uh, says to uh, reconnect with Mandy due to some technical glitches as we are trying to rectify those. The latest that's coming out, which is our top focus this hour, is the tensions, political tensions between Britain and Myanmar. Myanmar's ambassador to the UK, Chaos Wa Min, was locked out of the country's embassy in London last night in an extraordinary diplomatic coup by the Yangon military-linked figure. Mandy, please go ahead and finish what you were saying. Uh, so what we know from when in March, when he uh, made this announcement saying that the government should, uh, the, the, the junta should release Ensign Suu Kyi. Now, she was an opposition leader in Myanmar and she was uh, arrested. He said uh, that she was falsely arrested and she should be released. Now, because of that st public statement, he made uh, the junta summoned him back to Myanmar and stripped him of his post, but he has remained in London. Now, it puts the British government in a tricky situation uh, because they are supposed to recognize any decision that the military junta 
uh, makes. They are representative of the government of Myanmar. Uh, so if they recognize that he's no longer the ambassador, they are essentially, um, in a way, uh, giving validity right. to the junta. Right. Since you mentioned that and uh, the, the tricky position of the British government at the moment, what's happened last night at the embassy, does this mark a new phase of the Myanmar coup where the international community is now being pressured into recognizing the military as the legitimate government? It is a, a very tricky situation. What is uh, quite clear is the, the, foreign, the UK foreign minister, Dominic Raab, has repeatedly shown his support uh, to, to the ambassador, uh, despite the junta writing a letter informing him he is no longer the ambassador. Uh, so it, it is tricky, but ultimately, if he breaks those, there's Vienna Conventions of Diplomatic Relations, and that really governs all diplomatic relations all over the world. So increasingly, the international community is in this tight spot. The, it's, it was also, it's not just the UK, they have also uh, summoned the UN uh, ambassador uh, for Myanmar, and he also refused the post. Now, the UN is backing that former ambassador, but it is becoming a very difficult international issue to navigate. While many uh, foreign relations don't want to get into uh, Myanmar's deep political problems and pick a side, but in a way they might be forced to when it comes to the sacking of ambassadors. All right, and that absolutely marks a new point in this coup, which has now clearly gone beyond the boundaries of the country. Thank you so much, uh, Mandy Clark, for bringing in your inputs.